Morning YouTube. Today's the last day of classes. So I got math and history, which basically I returned in. Um, so basically I'm done, bro. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, we're keeping the uh, week long vlog going, bro. So that's tough. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna take a shower, get ready. And yeah, you know what? Pizza fit, pizza fit, pizza fit. Yeah, well, you know, what's something like. Yeah, I mean, with that said, I think we're ready to go. Let's get it. Oh yeah. No, in, yeah, in New York. <laughs> well, with that said, yo, I just got done with my math final, so that's dope. I'm not gonna lie, you know, we got it done. Facts, movie, now. I have like two hours to just chill. I might go pack a little bit, see who's outside and stuff like that, you know? That's before I have to do my history final, which is, I already turned in, which is gonna present our papers that we turned in like last week. So yeah, but I'll bring you along with me. So let's get it. Ali, Ali, what we doing, what we doing, what we doing, what we doing, bro? What we doing, bro? What we doing, bro? I'm getting boba. Yeah. In comments, in lower left, Flat. pull up, it's the best place to be. It's a little know. lunch stage, you know? Getting boba during lunch, like, bro, come on. Honestly, like, we're so privileged. No, no cap, bro. We're this privileged, bro. Great, they're treating us today. They're going stingy on the boba. They're going stingy on. Nah, they had, the, they had the cups nah. full of boba before. Now, nah, once you see me though, they're gonna be like, nah, add some more, add some more. What are we doing? Okay, so first you have to get a cup. Then, once you have your cup, you're gonna pour this like this. And then you do that with the other one. And then you get real milk from the thing. Once you do that, uh -huh. once you put milk in it, now you have a huge thing of boba. And you don't have to twirl it around in this tiny thing. And you have extra space for milk, which is really important, actually. It's really the primary detail. So, you have to get the low fat milk. Because we're on a diet, right? We're on a diet. We're skinny legends. Bill Hadid and this bitch. Oh, no, that's good. Oh! Oh my god, Ali nodded. <laughs> Delicioso. Delicioso. Now, if you're like me, you have extra boba. Yeah. Anyways, so you go like that. Now, it's 50% boba, 50% milk. I'm 0% bitches. <laughs> and now, you watch me write a whole essay on these like 20 lines. You're gonna ace it. Yeah, I'll give it you the 8, eight out of 10. Better than last time. Mm hmm. Yo. So, heading over to my last final right now. Got the history final, you feel me? I'm so hyped, I'm not gonna lie. After this, yo, we're down, bro, no cap. So, yeah, but it was stupid, bro. Last history final, last final at Andover, bro. Hardest fucking high school in America. Fuck. But yeah, as you can see, they're signing up already for graduation because this is where graduation is gonna be at. You know, you're gonna see me up there type shit, you know? See the little screens over there, you know? You see my beautiful face up there, you yeah, facts. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll show you like a little class pig afterwards, you know? But yeah, let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at the goat. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so we just got done with the history final, bro. It was literally nothing. Like, we used to like, show up and like said bye. <laughs> so yeah, with that said, bro, yo, we're done with Andover, bro. I know, it's fire. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we just finished up our history final. And I still haven't got my diploma yet, but I guess like, yo, I'm done with Andover, bro. I'm done. <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm done, bro. I, like, I know I got a couple of days left and I got celebrations and stuff like that, but a big part of this school is academics, bro. And like, yo, I did it, bro. That's crazy. Wow, I gotta call my sister and my mom, no cap. Because this is incredible. Who would have thought it, bro? Little kid, little gordito from fucking um, El Salvador, bro. Will be up here, bro. Taking this fucking video talking about I just finished my last class as a senior at best high school in America, bro. An immigrant, you know, from El Salvador, despite a lot of bullshit that has gone on, bro. Just a lot of injustices, you know, but despite that, I'm here standing in front of this building, bro, making this video, bro. That's crazy. That's just to show you, bro, that no matter what the fuck you set your mind to, bro, if you go hard, no matter if it seems impossible, you can achieve it, honestly, bro. So yeah, now I'm gonna head back to my dorm, and I think I gotta get some more people haircuts, so let's just do it. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, I just finished my last class, bro. Oh my gosh, it's like you It was crazy, like. Are you emotional? I'm not emotional, but like, cause I know that I still have like a lot more celebrations to do and stuff like that, like, you know, the next couple of days. But it's just crazy the fact that like, the class aspect of Andover is done, you know? Bro, that's the biggest thing. Exactly, I mean, that's why I'm here, like for school, you know, and. That's how it is, and then next thing you know, you're gonna start a new chapter soon too. Yeah, no, I was just reflecting though, like, yo, 
Like against all, like against all, no, but like all the fucking odds, bro. Against all the fucking odds, I literally just did this shit, bro. Like against all the odds, like think about it, bro. Like I know. it's a little immigrant I'm kid, bro. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. I mean, I always knew you were gonna make it to like an Ivy League then, like. Yeah, but still, it's like it's like you could think that, but it's like, how many people do you really see do that? You know? It's like, and like sometimes we do those things not by choice. It's not like I have that luxury. It's just like those are the only places that, that I can that I can choose, right? And it's just a dilemma. It's a whole contradiction, and I don't fucking know. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. Because those places have money, and honestly. I've always been behind the money. Like it's like whatever, whoever pays me, I'm gonna go. I don't no, care yeah. if it's like a lot of those places are just a walking contradiction, you know. And yeah. as I said, like yeah, Colombia is gonna be a trip, and like I'm glad that you've been there already, you know. No, bro, like I, bro. Colombia's like my spot, bro, for real. Really? Dude, like, it's just like, the reason why the I didn't, city, the feeling, bro, it's like the reason, if I had gone and visited before I was applying to colleges, I would have put that as my top choice, you know? And I feel like that was the same thing with Andover, you know? I don't know, remember, like, when I was applying to, like, boarding schools, I did not think, oh, I did not care about Andover like that, you know? Yeah. But once I came, visited, and I actually spent time here, I was like, shit, like, this place is me, you know? Yeah. Although, like, yeah, like, I'm a uh, anomaly, and, like, I definitely felt like out of place sometimes. But like it's Andover, like you know, it's like not a lot of kids like me come here. Well, it's fucking Andover, bro. Yeah. But ahorita I have a meeting, Papa, like right now. So okay, yeah. Call you after. For sure, yeah, yeah, no worries. You don't have classes anymore, right? Nah, like I'm done, bro. <laughs> <sighs> Yo. Like I said, bro, I mean, I don't, like, I hope this doesn't come out as, like, me kind of glazing myself type shit, you know, or, like, tooting my own horn and shit like that. It's just crazy, like, to keep it real, you know, to have, like, a one-to-one -one conversation. Like, I'm not supposed to be in this situation, you know? I'm not supposed to be out here, like, finishing my last class at Andover, you know? Although, like, the school has a mission to try to do this, you know, and have obviously done a good job with me and, like, you know, I love the school and all this, like, everything, you know? Like, I, I love this school, right? It's just crazy to think like, damn, I really just finished school, bro. I finished high school. Just to think about where I've come from, El Salvador, almost dying there, you know, due to gang violence, you know, coming here, not having any money, bro. You know, moving from state to state because my parents have to find a job, you know, having food insecurity, you know, having to go to like churches and shit like that to get like food and stuff like that. Usually that food would be expired, you know? and living in trailer homes, living in basements of family, friends, and family members and stuff like that, to now me being here at the best high school with surrounded by people with a lot of fucking money, a lot of fucking influence, a lot of just social and like, you know, financial capital, you know, to keep it short, I guess. It's insane, like, the fact that the Bushes came out of here and now I'm coming out of here, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. I could have come in here and just like, been in my room all day, every day, you know, just to keep my head down and did that shit. And I, you know, so there was times where I had to do that, you know, to get my shit done. But hopefully I, I, I made an impression on people, you know? Not like, like I mentioned, not trying to suck myself off, you know? But essentially I want to bring awareness to this type of narrative at these type of places, you know? And teach people like, yo, a kid from East Boston, you know, a kid from like, you know, El Salvador, a kid from like, you know, Roxbury, Dorchester, Bro in the Bronx, Brooklyn, shit like that, you know, like kids who have that drive, have the hustle. Like, I'm not that smart, honestly. Like, I, 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 I'm pretty baseline, like, you know, smart, I guess, like intelligence, like, but I know how to talk to people. I know how to explain myself, communicate my ideas. And most importantly, I know how to execute them, you know? And I feel like that's why I'm here right now. I just gotta keep on grinding, you know, keep on going hard. Showing what I'm made of. Showing that no matter what the setbacks are, I gotta go hard 24 seven. This is a one in a lifetime opportunity. Here I am as a 19 year old, bro, making this video. <laughs> and we're not done yet, you know? So yeah, with that said, thank you for watching. If you've been watching so far, if you didn't skip any of that, I appreciate you. And yeah, gotta go hard, facts, movie. <laughs>